Greetings, YouTube. Welcome to the blue corner. Blue Star Night Night here. Mega Monkey behind the camera. Hello. Uh, just showing you guys my version, or my just my way of doing uh, Brotherhood of uh, Card Car Fire. There we go. Jesus. Brotherhood of Card Advantage. Yeah. You know, <laughs> basically the closest thing we've had to like an older style Yu-Gi-Oh deck in quite some time. Yeah, I've just found it plays a lot like Hero Beat. Yeah. Basically, what this deck tries to do is it tries to like grind and slow the game down to its its base and then just try and win you out through advantage. You know, kind of how Disaster used to play in, in the beginning. So, yeah, yeah, this is re rather standard, but there's not really a whole lot of room for me to experiment as I really have only just been playing this deck for a short while. But you got the Fire Fist lineup, three Tanky and three Bear and a Gorilla. It's all you really need. No need for Dragon, no need for all the free access oh, yeah, stuff. So you mean your three Alias and your Stratos? Pretty much, except it's three Stratos and one Alias. Yeah. <laughs> Bear is basically a Gemini Spark on legs when you think of it, in a sense. Yep. And then you got that. And then, of course, you kind of need this to make the pack run. Uh, three Wolf Barks. Mm -hmm. It's your Debris slash Red Eyes. And help keep the advantage tempo going. Two Card Card. Not three, that's clumpy. Yeah. Two Valor. Two Valor and a Thunder King. Yep. Yeah. Standard monster lineup is standard. The only thing you could really consider putting in is maybe one more card car or maybe a Tactrix Marmelo, but I don't like that. Keep yeah. the number of required normal summons to minimum. Yeah, Marmelo's only good in the OCG because they still have multiple copies of bottom bonus. Fair point. For the spells, of course, three of something that is going to get limited. Oh, yeah. Tinky is just too good. And even when you run out of them, you've got a card and I'll just cycle them back in. What, no alties, bro? I'm not spending 75 bucks on it. <laughs> Hell, I'm not keeping this deck. Yeah. Uh, then the one of Gayoku and Tensu. Tensu just lets you play out a monster clumped hands. So yeah. Can, uh, Soon these two will match in rarity. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And Gayoku locks down back row. Yeah. And of course, triple pot. And I'm also going to put three upstarts as well. Just to thin out your deck. And then for getting through back row, your lance, three typhoons. Yeah. I kind of wanted, wanted to fit a book or a dark hole in here, but I had to make room for Those super episodes. typhoons actually look reasonably nice. They do. They're not as good as the other super typhoons, but they're much better than the secrets and the ghosts. What packs do the other supers come in? Uh, I honestly forget, but I know they're out there. Yeah. I just have my ultras. So. Traps. Triple Venus Chain. So good. And then I'm also running two Mirror Force. It was either two Force or two Prison or a combination of Force and Prison. Yeah. And I just like Force because we have people around here who just play into it. Yeah. Then for the one of Black Horn, it's another Solemn Warning. Yeah. Bottomless, Compulse, Warning, and Torrential, i.e. the Breakfast Club. <laughs> Triple H, John Cena, Randall Keith Orton, and Batista. <laughs> And then my one of seven tools, because Cyber Dragons were really popular today, and I did not want to get traps done in OTK. Yeah. Um, so for the time you played the deck, like, is there anything you just, like, put in there and then ended up being like, yeah, no, this is kind of crap? Uh, honestly, I did not get many opportunities to use this as much as I thought I was going to. Either I didn't need to, or things already happen. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, though, I was really happy with, like, the rest of the trap lineup. All these were rather helpful. Yeah. This could easily be cut, though, for something else. This was just a meta call. I don't know what I would run in this place. Probably the book. book? Or the dark oh, my yeah. God. yeah. I don't know. All, all the spells are good. All the monsters were really good. Yeah. No, that's... The main deck I'm perfectly satisfied. The trap line, the traps are basically the only thing there that give you any wiggle room. Uh, As for the ideal extra deck, I don't have everything on me, but I would... Let's see. Two Tiger Kings. It's really good. Uh, running two Abyss Dwellers because we have a lot of stuff here that activates in Grave. Uh, let me just make a quick switch up. And then I would run two Cardinals, but I don't have two Cardinals. Cardinals really good. Shuffles back your Tinkies and just keeps the little advantage train going. Digoster Emerald. Uh, and just like good generic rank cores. This is supposed to be a Kagasuchi, but mine hasn't come in yet. And running out. These aren't mine. Mega Monkey's just lending me these so I can muck around with them. Yeah. 
for the purpose of showing you basically have to run them at this point. Probably even two arcs, which I don't even have yet. I don't know if I would go with two arcs. Ah, uh, I like it a lot. I don't know. My personal opinion is I like it a lot better than double um, cardinal. Um, I found myself actually needing the second cardinal a couple times during both play today and during just testing. Um, arcs just kind of ridiculous. Yeah, arcs really good. Just remember, folks, summon your guys in defense. Like yeah, this. summon your Drago sacks and cardinals and stuff in defense. May stroke. And I guess I have somewhat of a side, but it's just locals base. It's nothing really important. Cybers because cyber dragons, fossil dinos, maxis. I only have one mistake, so I would side more. I would actually consider main decking this instead of the one of what I was doing in there. Yeah. Mistakes are really good, but I don't have full health either in such a low code. Oh my god, is it ever. But yeah, that's pretty much how I would play plus ones. Uh, probably the only time I'm going to be putting it on here. I'm getting ready to deck now. I'm going to go focus on mermails and such. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Until next time, this is Blue Story 99, jacking out.